Unacceptable and inexcusable. President Obama blasting actions taken by the IRS after a report came out from the Treasury Department's Inspector General finding that conservative groups were indeed uh, targeted inappropriately. The Attorney General Eric Holder, who will testify on Capitol Hill in a couple of hours on this, ordered the FBI to investigate uh, the scandal. Congress will also hear from the acting IRS Commissioner, Steve Miller, on Friday in a hearing about all this. Joining us to debate, discuss, dig in, DeRoy Murdoch, a Fox News contributor, Jay Sekulow, general counsel at the American Center for Law and Justice, and Joseph Bannister, former criminal investigation division special agent at, yes sir, the IRS. We're gonna start with you first, Joseph. How much of this do you see as being just blatantly illegal, what was going on at the IRS? Uh, quite a bit, actually. Um, I saw that there was at least nine uh, possible disclosure violations whereby the IRS shared uh, nine applications before they had been approved with a, a private group uh, called ProPublica. Um, all kinds of Treasury rules of conduct that were no doubt violated, uh, not to mention just the trust of the American people uh, violating the IRS mission statement to be fair uh, and unbiased. Uh, it runs the gamut. There are so many rules and, and laws that have been violated, mm -hmm. it's not funny. Now, I know that uh, Dorit Murdoch's going to want to talk about all the politics in this and maybe even weigh on that, those legal statements uh, that Joe was talking about. But, Jay, let me go to you first to follow up on that. Um, as Joseph says, hey, he sees a lot uh, here that was done illegally. It seems like every day and today before it's done may be counted in this as well as we hear more. As we find out more about this scandal, the scope of it is wider, and I guess the legal questions are wider along with it. What do you make of it all? Well, I think that's right. I actually began my uh, legal career as a, a trial lawyer for the Office of Chief Counsel uh, for the Internal Revenue Service, and uh, the tax exempt group was one of our clients within that group. Uh, and as was just said, there's numerous violations, both of the Internal Revenue Manual, of existing federal law, uh, potentially criminal law, including conspiracy to deprive individuals of their civil rights. And the fact of the matter is, I don't think this is going to get better. This is not like a fine wine that's going to age well. Uh, this is going to get worse as more information is out there. The IG's report, the inspector general, focused on three issues that I think are significant. Number one, clearly there was targeting. The IRS has confessed that. Uh, they made an apology on behalf of the 27 clients I represent, though the apology is not accepted. But uh, they made an apology. They acknowledged targeting. Secondly, I think this is significant also. The inspector general said the agents in charge of this were not familiar enough with the actual law between 501c3s and c4s and the inner workings of the Internal Revenue Code, which is more than troubling considering these are the agents charged with both uh, approving these kind of organizations and ultimately some of them auditing these organizations down the road. So that was troubling. And then three, of course, as the IG uh, stated, that uh, a number of the questions that were asked were not only burdensome, but also uh, in violation of existing law, membership list, donor data, that kind of information. Right. So I think there's a, a virtual, you know, a smorgasbord <laughs> of violations here, and I think the seriousness of it is going to get uh, more pronounced with time. Well, let's hope, because DeRoy, looking through this report, it does not answer who came up with this idea exactly. Right. And where did this idea come from, and who thought it was okay that this was going on? Yeah, this is not, uh, from all I can judge, uh, two or three people sitting in a cubicle saying, hey, let's get back at these right-wing groups. Uh, it's an enormous scope. 471 groups apparently were targeted. I mean, that takes a lot of effort, a lot of manpower. Did somebody dream this up uh, on his own, or did some, somebody on high say it'd be a good idea to stick it to the Tea Party and the groups on the right? Um, and what I really fear, ultimately, what this, what this is doing right now, or maybe don't fear, maybe it's a good thing, is it's uh, raising the level of distrust on the, uh, among the American people towards the IRS. As you know, with Obamacare coming down the pike, uh, I think something like 15,000 IRS agents are going to be hired basically to enforce Obamacare. We've already right. found out this group ProPublica has been getting files from uh, six different groups that were confidential. They, uh, uh, they publicized some of this information. They did redact some of the names. Uh, apparently there was a, uh, a pro-marriage group that had its information passed along to an, a pro-gay marriage group. That was very emb embarrassing for that organization. Uh, and it raises the question, if, if you have the federal government uh, getting people's medical records, electronic records, will we be finding that Congressman so-and-so takes Viagra and Senator such-and-such -such takes NAM? anxiety uh, medication and maybe some cabinet secretary is uh, seeing a psychiatrist because of violent fantasies well, and who knows what kind of very very he, sensitive confidential information could get out and be used for political purposes. Dory Murdoch here in studio because you're staying with us and because Jay is as well let's give the last word on this subject before we move on to our next one uh, to Joe Bannister and um, this question of how high up it goes it, it's true at this point that we don't 
quite know. I mean, any sense of that from where you sit? Well, certainly the, the Treasury report indicated that there were do, you know, dozens and dozens of people involved. And so, as, as was already said, why, who's thinking up these things? Who thinks like this? Uh, people, each, each IRS agent takes an oath to support and defend the Constitution. And apparently they don't even know what it is. And as was pointed out, that these uh, so-called uh, determination unit specialists don't even know the very laws that they're supposed to be evaluating. So it's right. really, uh, it's an evil agency, and I hope the American people will get up in arms about it. Joseph Bannister, thank you very much. We appreciate you coming on with us. I know, as I said, DeRoy and, and Jay are going to stay with us. And I talked earlier at the top about how we